Hey guys, it's me, Amanda Fairpool, and I just finished this project. Yes, I did. I finished it. Finally. It took me two weeks, 20 hours, and it only cost me three bucks. Three or three dollars. Well, anywho, it was a love-hate relationship, let's just say. It only took it took me two weeks because I took a week off. I was a little frustrated on it, but I had the help of my husband husband who saved my life on a couple of the characters I was not very happy with but anywho this violin case was for free I picked it up from this lady who didn't want it anymore and I am giving it to my cousin Kai he's my inspiration he actually is the one that wanted this League of Legend pictures of Vladimir Thresh and Panna Annie they were a very complex character but I Figured out a way to make it work. I also had a huge help from my husband. Well, anyway, let's get this started. Let's get this DIY started right now. All right, the supplies you will need is one X-Acto knife with new blades, one black, red, white, and neon green acrylic paint, masking tape, not painter's tape, freezer paper, three foam brushes, two small paint brushes, one cutting board, iron for clothes, stencils, scissors, this is optional, waterproof and repel stain spray to protect artwork, and lots and lots of patience. Let's prep. I'm prepping the violin case by taking the masking tape and covering the trimming to protect it from any paint that may get on it. And once you are done, you should have something like this. Next, grab the stencils. Lay each stencil in their layers out. Then carefully lay each stencil on top of each other and cut to size. Make sure you measure the violin case before you start cutting. Once you finish cutting each layer to size, you need to write on each stencil of what you are going to cut out and what color you are going to paint that stencil so it won't get confusing. Put each stencil on top of the case and then draw a line between each stencil. Remove it and then start painting each section. Let me wave my wand. Boom! You should have something like this. Once the red had dried, it was transparent, so I realized I needed to basically prime the red area by mixing red and white together. Once the area dried, I repainted the red section again. For each color, I mixed a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 paint ratio to 1 medium fabric ratio. Then you should get something like this. Once the paint dries, take your stencil, place them back onto the case to see if the edges are too long. If so, just use regular scissors to cut the edges off. Then you are going to take the freezer paper and cut it to size. Cut each stencil out and make sure the shiny side is facing down. Tape your stencil and freezer paper down onto the cutting board. Then you are going to take your X-Acto knife and cut through each layer. Hint, it's best to use a sharp blade. Let me take my wand and boom, there's the finished cutout. Remove your stencil carefully from the freezer paper and masking tape. Then the fun and tricky part starts. Place the freezer paper shiny side down. Since the violin case isn't completely flat, I had to play around with the freezer paper and iron to get it onto the violin case. Once all three stencils are on the violin case, all you have to do is now paint it black. You should have something like this. Once the area is dried, apply your second layer on by ironing the freezer paper to the violin case and I painted the second layer white. Quickly remove the freezer paper after painting. After I got done with Panda Annie, I went to go check on my husband who was working on Vladimir. How do you feel? I'm exhausted. What? I'm exhausted. Exhausted? I don't like this. <laughs> It takes about an hour for each stencil to be cut off, but once Johnny finished with Vladimir, I ironed the freezer paper on and painted the second layer white. I celebrated a little too early and then realized Panna Annie had a third layer. Ugh. I painted her eyes and lips black, her fireball red, but I didn't let the white paint dry long enough. It got stuck on the freezer paper, so I had to go back and retouch her face with a brush. Well, this is the part where I had to add the detail. For Panda Annie, she's wearing a headband, and it has a little tiny panda on it, so I had to add black ears, black eyes, and then a black nose for the little tiny panda, and then for Thresh, I had to add eyes, which I used white paint. Yay, we're at the last part of this step. All you're gonna do is take masking tape and create a border by creating straight lines. Uh, I eyeballed this, so Try your best as best you can. If not, you can always fix it. 
And here is the finished product. is the end of the tutorial what we finished it yeah I think I made it look a lot easier than it really is but it was quite difficult I would suggest beginners to do easier stencils well anywho, if you liked this tutorial please subscribe to my channel which I have a button right here but if not if you can't see the button just click the link below in the description also don't forget leave comments below of what I should do next, what you would like me to make tutorials about because I do enjoy making DIY. But do not suggest any more food. I'm so over food right now, guys. I only cook Cambodian food and it's for broke college students that they don't have time and it's the easy way. Well, until then, bye!